Wait, first generation of existence in North America. Okay. Uh, we're talking about cults. Okay, okay, okay. I'm following. Okay. Oh, okay. Churches with less members than 5,000. Okay, with, uh, with obscure names. Okay. On the average, these groups have 1,000 uh, to 3,000 members. Okay, okay that, that's that's pretty powerful. Okay. Uh, that's an estimated 150,000 individuals are involved in the so called cults at any one time. Oh, you can get involved in a lot of cults. Okay, yeah. But each of these groups experiences a large overturn in membership. Oh, okay, so you're like you're you're on file. I mean, you get into these cults, they know who you are. Okay. They yeah, probably even start altering your identity. Okay. Yeah. Reports of groups numbering in the thousands and enrolling people in the millions contain grossly exaggerated fears circulated by anti-cult groups to promote a climate of hysteria. Okay. Oh, anti-cult okay. groups, okay, right. Yeah. So people are taking a stand against these cults, okay. Such players have no basis in fact and represent at best the lies and fears of the speculations of those who make their living fighting alternative religions. Okay, making okay. money off weird ideas, okay. Of the 75 cults, almost all attention has been focused on 13 alternative religions. 13 alternative religions, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Number one. Well, well, don't let me down now. These real... This the is polytheism. He's describing polytheism and paganism. Number two. The church, universal, and triumphant. Okay, those are polytheists, okay. Number three. The Church of Scientology. That's my favorite. Oh, okay, Th those are, uh, what would you call those, agnostics? The International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Okay, now those are those are pagans and polytheistic. Okay, Krishna is pagan and polytheistic. I, I identify that, okay. 